Welcome to episode 13 of Tools in the Hall. Today we have a bunch of things that you may have not seen in previous versions of Tools in the Hall. And we also have a spotlight on some Milwaukee tools. Let's get to it. There's a couple of things in here that I don't think I've shown you before. I don't think I've really seen them before, to be honest with you. So we're going to go through this for the first time together. This is a special order item from Gear Wrench. These are their auto bite pliers in 6, 8, 10, and 12 inch. Uh, so clearly this one's Optimus Prime. I don't know what the other one's names are. I never followed them. I know, I know, all you, all you Transformer nerds are yelling at me right now. It's Autobot, not Autobite. I know, it's a joke. These, these are the jokes, kids. I don't know. All right, these guys come in four different sizes in this set. And I think what the deal is with these is this. They've got a few features that your average pliers don't have. Uh, we're going to start with the one I'm going to forget. <laughs> uh, and that is they have this soft non-marring grip here so you can grab um things with a sensitive finish on this side of the pivot and turn it that way so that you don't mar the finish the auto bite feature is this lever right here that you move with your thumb and what happens is you open these guys up you engage that lever and then regardless of how large you have the jaw set to say like this for example when you squeeze it with that lever involved in, engaged it automatically adjusts the pliers until it grabs whatever it is you're looking to grab and then you can disengage by just getting your finger out of the way and flipping the lever again so that's that feature this was a special order item for somebody who specifically wanted these I've never used them myself or anything like it, so I don't know how handy it would be. But uh, chime on in and let me know if you think that that's a handy feature or not. If it is, I think it's something worth touting. If it's not, I'll just chalk it up to a marketing gimmick, but I don't know. When you're hard at work and you're going at it and you grab a pair of pliers, would a feature like that be beneficial to you? Would it save you time? Because if it does and it can result in some efficiency, well, it's going to make you some money because you're going to be faster at doing whatever it is you're doing, and that really matters when you're flagging hours for a living. So I'd love to know what your experiences are with that. If you think something like that is absolutely worth it, let me know. And we'll uh, maybe we'll put them on the truck as a regular item. Next up, we've got these 24-inch uh, long magnetic rails from Lyle. These are the same magnetic rails that you see on the front of every shelf in a tool truck. It's the, it, These are really strong double-sided magnets. You can stick just about anything that's ferrous metal to these, and they're not coming off real easy at all. They're terrific for the lids of tool carts or inside... Uh, inside the top compartment for a toolbox a lot of guys like to stick them to the side or stick them to the lid you can hang your screwdrivers wrenches sockets whatever the nice thing about them is because they're not size specific for whatever you're organizing they're they're nice to uh, just have this open-ended organizational tool so that you can uh, you can save yourself some space and more efficiently use what you do have in your cart 
This is the longest version of the extendable indexable head pry bar gear wrench has. This is a regular item for us. We um, sell these regularly, especially now that they're on sale. When you hear me talk about sale prices, I know this video is going to be posted after our current flyer cycle. So for all I know, they may continue these deals in the current flyer for when you see this video. But if not, I'm just talking about Q2 2021. So uh, that's uh, April, May, and June. So they're, um, the pricing is good that I know of through June of 2021, maybe longer. So this is the guy that uh, has an, index, an, an indexable head with a button that you push right there and the head pivots 180 degrees and has uh, an extension right there that's a lock, you push that. I don't want to take it out of the bag. Uh, has a lock and then you can extend this thing to 48 inches long. I've never seen one break, but they do have a lifetime warranty. I've seen their smaller ones break because people put too much leverage on those all the time. And again, those are under warranty too, so it really doesn't matter. We'll replace them. But interestingly enough, I would think that with the amount of leverage you're going to be putting on a pry bar this large, I would think that we'd see more breakage than we do, but I've never seen one, never seen one go south. But they're an easy swap out if they do, so it's never a concern with gear wrench products their hand tools are fabulous a couple of uh gear box wrenches from gear wrench here that we're delivering to somebody these are the ones that have the same sizes on both ends one is a fixed spline box end one is a ratcheting flex spline head and one of these is 14 mil the other is 15 mil a guy wanted two individual ones instead of buying the set he says he's going to use these uh, a lot for access to things up in an engine on diesel trucks that he works on. These socket and ratchet sets from Gear Wrench have gotten really popular lately. I think it's because they dropped the price on them. So this is the 57 inch standard and metric, 57 inch, 57 piece standard and metric socket set. And it's got deep and shallow chrome sockets this one has two 3 8 drive ratchets they do have another kit that only has the long one it does not have the stubby one a couple of extensions and a universal adapter and for a few bucks less you can get the other one that that doesn't have the stubby but uh if i were you i go for the stubby because that's just a handy little ratchet to have and they're on sale in this flyer cycle for $165.99 I may have shown this SunX bit set to you in another video. This guy is maybe the handiest bit set you'll ever see. It's got 208 pieces and just about every bit you could wish for in both the shorter lengths and the 2 inch lengths. It also has a complete set of nut drivers and it has Torx, Hex, Phillips, Slotted, tamper-proof versions of the Torx and Hex, square drive, clutch bits, an extension, and every bit under the sun. All quarter drive Hex shanks, so you can put them in, you can put them in a, a, a battery-operated screwdriver. Um, you can put them in an impact too, I guess, but I, I would be very careful just because you're quarter inch, you don't want to snap them off, but they are covered all under a lifetime warranty if you do, so use them as you will i suppose v8 tool has these plain old regular stamp wrenches not anything worth bragging about but the prices are really good and they have thin wrenches and these thin angle wrenches that you won't find with other brands so there are go-to for these things and you don't have to worry about breaking them i mean it's short handle low leverage applications but they're thin and they're at the correct angle for um well, a guy who works in a race shop wanted this one, and I don't know what his application is for it. I was going to say hydraulic lines, but um, usually the, the angle wrenches for hydraulic fittings have longer handles. I don't know what he's using this for. I'd be curious to find out. I'll talk to him and, because I'm curious. Same size on both ends, but one's got the 60-degree uh, angle on and the other is 15. 
Hose disconnect pliers from Lyle are popular because you can spend a boatload of money on the ones used for disconnecting airlines, or you can use one of these bad boys. And all you got to do is take a pair of vice grips, stick them to the line just below the fitting, stick this between the vice grip jaws and the fitting, squeeze the handles, and that thing will pop the lines right off. That's like 17 bucks, and meanwhile, a pair of airline pliers are like 60 bucks. This is the same thing. A couple of restock items here, just some Lyle oil filter wrenches, regular band type. The soldering clamp from Lyle is really handy. It's got a magnet base there, and you can stick that to an engine or somewhere in the engine compartment if you're soldering wires and you need three hands to do the job. This will hold the wires while you manipulate your soldering iron and hold the solder. Handy little item. These are regular items for us that, uh, that we put on the trucks. And I love the little things like this because they really make a huge difference. All tool trucks are, you know, we all have access to the same tools. Regardless of brand, franchise, or independent, doesn't matter. We've all got access to the same stuff. One of the differences that you'll find between tool guys is, do you have those small things that you might need right away? I need right now. Not expensive, but if you're the guy that's got those little those little items like that, you'll do pretty well for yourself because people will get on the truck, just look around and see, maybe there's something that they can pick up as an impulse buy, maybe there's something that they forgot that they needed when they see it, it'll jog the memory, and little items like that are huge. These are the bolt biter extractor sockets that GearWrench makes. I like these better than the Irwin ones and any of the other brands I've looked at because the flutes in here are straight, unlike the other ones where they're twisted. Why do they make straight flutes on their extractor sockets? Well, because, and I'll give you a real-world example. I was servicing uh, the fuel filter on one of my work trucks, and they, they're the GMC uh, Topkick 5500s. And they have the Duramax 6.6 engines in them, so you have to... Um, you have to prime the fuel pump when we replace the filter. And you have to loosen this bleeder screw, prime it, and tighten the screw back. And I'm not saying who, but the fellow who worked on the truck before I did, uh, rounded off the head of that screw. And it's difficult to get at, so you can't just get like a pair of pliers in there and, and, and do it in a pinch. You have to drop a socket on it. And that guy, not only did it take, not only did it loosen the screw, but it's the only one I had. I didn't have a spare screw. I can't run that truck without that screw. I have to put that screw back on. Well, the only way I'm going to get it back on is if I use the same socket. So the extractor socket took it off, but it also put it back on. And that's the advantage to the straight flutes. That it's not just a reverse only like the twisted, fluted socket is. And they got the advantage as far as I'm concerned there. They've also got a big price advantage over the Irwin. These are about half the price of a similarly sized Irwin set on the truck, and they cover everything with a lifetime warranty. So why wouldn't we get them? Of course we would, that's why we do. Next, these are those little indexable head pry bars I was telling you about the gear wrench makes. These are the ones that do break regularly. For some reason that pivot is the weak point and they're always falling apart or breaking, but we keep replacing them. Gear wrench stands behind them, so it's no big deal. This is a 16-inch long one. They have one that's 10 inches and one that's 8 inches. And this one, oh, <laughs> this one is a warranty replacement, come to find. So we got that for a guy to replace his broken 16. And then they have the other two sizes in that set. So that box there contains that 16-inch, there goes a cat, that 16-inch and a 10 and an 8. What's this? A snap-on 3 8 impact that came back from repair. We repair all different brands of tools. So if you have a broken power tool or torque wrench, we can take care of it. We have vendor relationships with all the service facilities that fix this stuff. And we will happily be the intermediary for you and get your stuff fixed up. Recalibrate if it's a torque wrench, certified if you want. Doesn't matter what it is, in or out of warranty, just let us know and we can help with that. 
in here we've got the automatic strippers from SG Tool. These are the ones where uh, you just stick the wire in, you just squeeze the handles, and it uh, it strips it uh, automatically, and it has a cutter blade right up in the front there. Handy, quick. We've got some big old gray pneumatic sockets. There's some guys who ordered some three-quarter drive sockets. So we've got a 42 mil three-quarter drive gray pneumatic socket. And uh, just some other gray pneumatic sockets came in, either for warranty or for purchase. We like Grey Pneumatic for all their stuff. I love the variety and the selection they had. There is something to be aware of with Grey Pneumatic, though, and that is they put a warranty on most of their stuff. It's It pays to know which of their items don't carry warranty, and some of them don't, like their thin wall sockets and their reducing adapters. I did a video a little while back on warranties. Check it out up here because that talks more in depth about things that you need to know about warranties in general, and I specifically address some stuff about Grey Pneumatic. Check out that video. I'm going to tease you by sending you over to that video and sitting telling me here. That way, maybe you'll watch more of my videos. <laughs> All right. What else we got? We got some of these nice work gloves from Gear Wrench. These are made by Mechanics Wear. Uh, I like these because the price is lower than Mechanics Wear. So we're putting these on the truck. And uh, they're on sale right now on the flyer anyway. So there's even a few bucks off of those. Here's a power adapter for a NOCO uh, jump box. I love NOCO's products. I think that their stuff is slightly better than the jump and carry boxes from Clore because their stuff is lighter weight, higher power for the same price. And uh, we've never seen problems with them. So I'm a big fan of their stuff. NOCO is our go-to for jump boxes. We've got... Ow! Don't pinch yourself with the Nipex pliers, Lindsay. I did. Too late for that. Uh, some Nipex pliers. These have those bizarre jaws. I don't know. Actually, I don't know why we have these. We may have incorrectly ordered these. If you know what these are for, or if you own a pair, uh, say so in the comments, please. Let me know. What else we got? Oh, uh, we got a, a three millimeter long handled Bonhaus Allen screwdriver. You can't see because it it's in a package. I'm going to leave it in the package. Uh, there's some more miscellaneous sockets and an extension from gear wrench and boring stuff. There's just some miscellaneous wrenches and things in there. Sonic socket, gear wrench, um, gear wrench torque sockets and stuff like that. Oh, I'll show you these though. These are the double sided eighth inch drill bits. Body guys need these a lot. There are some good brands out there and there's some bad brands and we. I, uh, we purchased what we didn't know at the time was a bad brand until a fabricator we know said, these things are junk. And I said, thank you for letting me know. We won't buy those anymore. So I just gave that set to him and bought him a good set from Irwin. And Irwin's got the nice black oxide ones that tend to cut way better and last longer. And uh, they're the go-to for us as a result of that because they have proven themselves worthy of being on the tool truck. All right, now, Gear Rent has these very popular Gearbox wrenches i showed you the two individual ones earlier the 14 and the 15 this is the whole set that goes 8 to 19 in addition to this there is also the jumbo set that runs 20 to 25 and i think we're doing like a buy one get one on these i think if you buy this set then you can get the jumbo set for 50 percent off or something like that yeah, that's the deal. Um, and it's a dealer only thing. We, we've only got a few sets of them. So buy this one. You can get this one a half off if you wanted to. So we're running deals like that. I had a customer ask me for a welding cart. And I said, oh, these K-Tool ones are pretty inexpensive. And uh, he said, okay, uh, just hold off on it. He says, I don't know if I want it yet. And I said, okay. And then I somehow accidentally ordered it. So I have a welding cart that I don't think anyone wants. But we'll put it on the truck. You know, they're, they're fairly inexpensive, perfectly functional, and I like a lot of what K-Tool is doing now. 
since the monster brain got turned down and they absorbed the monster product line you can check out my video up here on what happened to the monster line i explain that all there and since they're rebranding uh, i like a lot of their products and they have good hand tools uh some pretty good air tools although i'm not as familiar with the air tools um we've sold a few of them and, and people have really liked them we've had good results and good feedback this welding cart is one that uh you know for the price it's tough to beat so we'll put it on the truck and then maybe if the guy winds up changing his mind it's there for him if not no big deal sonics has these mini ratchet and bit sets this a quarter inch drive ratchet with a with a hex receiver in it and these quarter inch hex sockets hex bits rather that go in there uh phillips slotted torx tamper-proof torx and an extension and they're, they're inexpensive and they're just a popular popular little set we sell a lot of these jack links is our brand for beef jerky uh, and, and the beef jerky situation has more of a story than it should have the long and short of it is this we cycled through a bunch of different brands before settling on one that we liked uh, from a company up in ohio but once the coronavirus hit they kind of dried up we don't know what happened to them they're still in business but they stopped processing our orders and we said well we got to find somebody else so we looked at another like four or five different brands didn't find anything we liked settled on jack links they have a bigger bag than the previous brand we were carrying and the price is the same so you get more for the same amount of money why wouldn't we do that so we do and uh people really like the jack links so that's the one we go with uh it's just a power adapter that is a wrench 13 millimeter wrench for a guy not a whole lot of excitement here that's a ratchet rebuild kit oh uh, paperwork for a guy man there's not a whole lot in here k tool has these uh plastic socket trays these are regular spindle style standard and metric um i like them because their pricing is so much better than other brands and when it comes to a plastic spindle socket tray it, does the brand really matter no save yourself a few bucks buy something inexpensive and uh and it'll be just fine Me mechanics time saver makes a lot of these socket storage rails for lots of different brands and we get the ones that are branded with the mechanics time saver name uh this is the quarter inch drive one they have three eighths and a half inch as well magnetic back and these are the twist lock clips on them and they have um a nice aluminum body to them they're very reliable rugged they'll put up a lot um, i've seen these things all gunked up and beat up and they still keep ticking uh some more miscellaneous wrenches and a little terminal tool here from our friends at js products who makes steelman not a lot of excitement in that box but in this box oh, <laughs> oh boy is there excitement excitement galore all right this is the two-piece milwaukee impact kit it has their new half inch and their new three eighths impacts that half inch is the one rated for 60 uh 1400 foot pounds and the three eighths is rated for 300 600 foot pounds and they have two five amp hour 18 volt batteries a multi-volt charger and a contractor bag that comes with it that has proven to be the kit that has kind of upended the rest of the industry and if you don't believe me just ask anyone else you know who owns them because what we regularly see is someone in a shop buys a milwaukee tool because they either own one or they like them already or they've heard great things about them and then they bring it to the shop and then someone in the shop sees what they're doing and then their impacts look kind of shabby and then they ask to try it and they do and they love it because it's pretty strong and pretty powerful and then usually there's some real interesting conversation that goes back and forth between price and warranty and power and all the rest of it and 
guys will invariably either trade up to get into New Milwaukee or once their old stuff um, gets gets uh, worn out enough, they'll take it home and then they'll buy the Milwaukee stuff for the shop. The great thing about Milwaukee is five-year warranties and the tools. The prices are way better than Snap-ons and you can buy their stuff anywhere. You can get it at Home Depot, online, Amazon, but beware because there's warranty fulfillment issues with this. Look at that warranty video I referenced earlier to see what I'm talking about. It's really important. You need to know some very critical things about buying Milwaukee stuff. Where you buy it matters. Um, they will not cover the warranties uh, if you buy it just everywhere. So there's reasons and there's good reasons why that is. So please check out that video. Familiarize yourself with that to know all the ins and outs of handling Milwaukee warranties. We have a bunch of their 12-volt stuff here, their two-piece kit that's got their quarter-inch driver and their half-inch chuck drill. And we've also got uh, some of the right-angle impacts. And we've got some of their 3.8 stubby impacts. We're putting a bunch... We also have some batteries coming in that haven't arrived yet. We're putting this stuff on the truck and we're doing a promo. I did it uh, the week before... La uh, no, last week, as a matter of fact, I did it. And I'm usually really bad at putting promotions together. Well, the ones I've tried in the past <laughs> don't seem to drum up much interest. But we were able to get a pretty good deal on some bundles of Milwaukee tools. So I was like, yeah, we'll put them on the truck and see what happens. So we were able to do it particularly compelling pricing. Pricing that, like that we were selling that 3 8 stubby impact for $4 less than Northern Tool and Home Depot. And we could sell the right angle impact for the price it was on Amazon for and the two piece kit we we could sell for slightly more than what it was uh, on Home Depot for it's very rare that I can price things that low on the tool truck and still make some money so I jumped at the chance to do this and I'm glad I did because everything got sold out um, in pretty short order I posted some pics and stuff on my Instagram page so go check out my Instagram account Coil Tools I don't know anything about using Instagram other than I post stuff. I don't know if it does anything for me. But I posted pictures of this up there and it was kind of cool because um, you never know how social media is going to work out for you. Like I walked into a shop on the first day doing that promo and uh, one of the one of the fellows in the shop said, Hey, I, I saw that you posted that stuff on Instagram. Do you have any on the truck? I said, Yeah, it's still all on the truck because the promo just started. He gets on the truck. He buys like $1,000 worth of tools. And he goes back in the shop carrying an armload of these tools. And then another guy comes out. A guy that I really haven't done much business with at all. And he said, hey, I, I noticed uh, you know, Joe over there just got all these tools. What do you got? So he jumps on the truck. He looks over uh, some stuff. He buys like $300 worth of tools. And you know, then he leaves. And the next thing you know, we're going around really quick. The whole, the whole stock that I had of these things sold out in short order. So now i got to restock and do the promo all over again. I can't do the pricing quite as good as I did the first time around because uh, we just got a particularly good deal uh, that, I, that I couldn't pass up. But these prices here are pretty comparable. They're on average about $20 to $25 more than my last go around. And still, if you can find those prices on tool trucks that can be within 20 bucks of Amazon, it's rare that we can do that. But with these, we can. And uh, I'm, I'm stoked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break out a whole nother video to talk about some Milwaukee stuff. Not about, not about this promo because I don't want to make it a sales video. But if it's not obvious, I'm a fan of the brand. And I'm not generally a fanboy. But Milwaukee has won me over 100%. And I dig into a video about why all that is. And that should be going up... Um, that should be going up in a few weeks. It might actually post before this one posts. So if you see this video before you see that video, then do me a favor. Click down here to subscribe so that you don't miss any of it and you get notified. Well, thank you so much for watching. And remember, use a tool. Don't be one.